It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. And wanderers are always welcome. I've been meaning to ask. What brought you here? The Fenders left plenty of records of their work here. In case they were to ever come back. I must admit, I'm surprised you made it this far. It's quite exciting. That was the trailer for Viewfinder. It, I mean, been following it for a while. So dope. Can you please introduce yourselves and, and tell, tell us like yeah. what you guys are working on? Yeah, so uh, I'm Uda and I did the sound design and audio, audio lead for the project. And I'm George, I'm the production director on Viewfinder. Cool. So we're going to be playing uh, Viewfinder, or that you're going to be showing us Viewfinder. This is the first time that we're playing uh, uh, the real the real deal. That's the real, real full <laughs> version. <laughs> the That's real what you see is what you're going to get. It's coming soon, guys. So <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. 18th. Tuesday. 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 Yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we got to put a picture three. in picture in this because we all need to see. <laughs> so oh, yeah, shit. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is amazing. Congratulations. So 18th, Tuesday, you know, Steam, PS5. You know, uh, obviously we still wish list. Do us yeah. a favor. Wish always always yeah, wish list. That's yeah. really, yeah. And then buy it. And then and buy. Is there a demo? Is is there, a demo? It, there is a demo on the P PlayStation, which you nice. can uh, download nice. right now. And if you want to, you know, kind of like uh, get a little bit of action beforehand, do that. And or if you want to wait until Tuesday, that's also fine. Or, or just wish list. You do can do all three things. Like yeah. play the demo, you can do. wish list, <laughs> and then buy. And then buy. That's, uh, yeah. you know, it can be. Yeah, uh, it's, it gets complicated, but let's do this. The, the three days of viewfinder before release. Yeah. You can do yeah. everything. Let's, yeah, let's get started uh, to, to, yeah. to play the yeah, game, cool. and then tell us about the, the game. Is fascinating. Yeah. It's like very artistic, but. So yeah, I mean, Viewfinder is uh, well, it's a it's a, a puzzle game, puzzle adventure game, as I like to call it. Uh, you pl play as a character. You are in this uh, in this world that we see, and this is the very start of the game as well. And uh, yeah, so part of the, one of the main game mechanics uh, that we will see, we'll see two game mechanics in a second. One is um, the rewind mechanic, and the other one is the photo, uh, the, the photo placement mechanic, it's the one where we have seen a lot in trailers as well. But <laughs> being, this being the start of the game, we wanted to make sure we ease it in very slowly and nicely into the world of Viewfinder and into the, into the environment. And um, as you can see, we want to have a wholesome, nice, green, nice, beautiful environment. That's kind of like what Viewfinder is. Uh, one where you can discover, where you can relax as well, and one that uh, allows you to explore. So, um, yeah, so one of the first mechanics that we'll see right now is the rewind mechanic. So at any given point, when you've made a mistake, we can just press a button, keep the button pressed, and it just rewinds up until the point that you want. You can stop at any given time, and you can rewind back to the level. So, you know, we can do that again here. And uh, that really, was really important for us because we wanted to ensure this being a puzzle game that people were not afraid of failure. For us, failure is, this game is not about failure, it's about experimentation, right? Yeah. Because as we see later on, the way you solve the puzzles and the way you play the game, it's up to you, so it's up to you as well. Like, how do you, uh, how do you solve the puzzles? There's not often one way, there's several ways of doing that. And what we wanted to make sure is that there's no, you don't feel punished by, for example, what you think is breaking the puzzle. You can just rewind. So right now we've got so this photo crazy. mechanic. You picked up a photo, right? Um, you can place it wherever you like. And at the moment you place it, that photo becomes real. Yeah. You and walk into it. Wow. you walk into it. What's really important as well is like, you know, each photo has got their own sound environment as well. Yeah. And um, it's like a, yeah, it's like a complete copy of the photo in, in, in memory yeah. uh, as well. How so. did you get, like, create these, these different puzzles? That sounds really intricate. 
it's, if it was in a team, you were like, hey, what if we had a black and white photo and there's this archway? Like, how did you guys? It's kind of it's came up. So Matt, Matt, the uh, the game director, when he was a student, he had this idea about because he loves cameras, he loves filters, he loves playing with perspective. So he built this little prototype, which is essentially like the take a photo, place a photo mechanic. Like take a photo and then place it somewhere else. And we're literally, um, when we take a photo, we're literally capturing the geometry. When we place a photo, we're literally, you know, splicing that in. So it's there's there's just a lot of math and a lot of. So you're actually you know, taking a whole. We're taking whole a whole. Like, yeah. Look, what, what do you see? The thrust of the camera. We take a. You know, we we take we we slice that. We take a copy, slice it. Prep it and put it back down on, on in, in the environment. That's that is pretty sick. That's yeah. So it was. There's a, a lot of interesting challenges. Like yeah, it's a very technical game. I mean, you can rewind time. That yeah. seems extremely complicated. So, so you rewind everything, all the physics and stuff as well. Like you can see as here. Wow. Uh, everything is rewound, and that includes all the audio as well. So like for me, I had to make a rewinded version of every single sound in the game because it <laughs> wait it could, for real yeah okay it could potentially happen and also for like here's two trees um, both of these trees have rustling like leaves coming from them but if you place a photo on top of let's see this tree there's no leaves anymore so we <laughs> there's, there's no sound coming from any leaves anymore right here yeah. just we cut them out and in other levels where you have the camera if you take a photo of something that has, yeah, for example, a tree, and you place that somewhere else, then you have more tree sounds from there as well. So yeah, it's not just the visual. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, everything. it's been everything. It's been uh, audio. It's been the visual. It's been puzzles as well. It's been like a, yeah, physics, physics yeah. engine. It's been, it's so been quite, quite a journey. So is this is this the um, from the lead designers kind of expertise, like all this tech, or is this? Like who? Who is the person? He, who's he so he did the photo. Like it's a Matt. He made a small prototype, and then he the photo mechanic, and then he posted it on Twitter. That's how it became uh, viral. It went viral like yeah. way before, like like a year before we got involved. I think or like 2019. I think it was. And um, then what happened is like um, him and uh, him. He got together through circumstances with, with Gwen and and Callum, and then. They they said okay let's let's go and make a real game with that with that mechanic and then I, I came on board and then we built the team and then somebody said and then initially there was no the rerun mechanic wasn't there initially uh, it, it was I think it came I think it was Callum's idea if I remember correctly I might I hope I'm not wrong about this um, it was just the idea like this being such a a really good puzzle mechanic. We, the encouragement of exploration, experimentation needed to be yeah. on the forefront as well. And then the rewrite mechanic was born because of that as well, because yeah. to allow the player to do that, uh, so they can just experiment. I remember this from like a Prince of Persia game. What was it Sands of Time? Oh yeah. And then and then also uh, Braid. Yeah. Like playing with time. It's a really cool mechanic. It's it's interesting. You don't see it in as many games. I remember once bringing it up in the studio. Uh, with our, our uh, CTO, and he's like, "Yeah, that's not possible." And I was like, oh, "Really? Because?" <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that the the re I think we for some reason we picked two mechanics that are, are, are just very yeah, they just cause a lot of bugs. That's basically what, <laughs> yeah. for some reason I don't know. As Ola mentioned, uh, even with the sound design, yeah. sound effects, it feels different than yeah. what we've seen. And so. The rewind mechanic and also the basement, the photo basement, also it just like the sound effects from here. the sound system alone. Yeah. It's, am it's amazing because it really takes advantage of the medium, right? I mean, like when we we play games, I think part of what we're trying to experience is like experimentation and and what you. Uh, you know, discover like what are the consequences to these choices and that kind of thing. So it's, it's amazing. And I think uh, I think um, you know uh, the, the important thing is um, games can be super stressful, right? And <laughs> and uh, in the best of times, uh, or in the worst of times, and um, puzzle games. It's wow. it's also trying. How can you make a puzzle game that's both accessible but still has a lot of challenges for the people who want that challenge? And how do you uh, map out that progression? Like uh, we want to. We want you to enter this world in a nice way. We want you to get the basic of the game design and the game mechanics, and then we gradually build upon it. But uh, but yeah, the game 
The game goes wild at points, honestly. Yeah. The, the, that, that's, uh, you know, not, not that's... You can have so many different solutions to the puzzles as well. Like, uh, there are so many speedrunners that we've seen that I have never really made it work myself. Yeah. They place the bridge, like, right here or something, yeah. and then they are able to somehow, like, so you can oh, jump. I, I made it. You did. Maybe, you did. did I? Oh, no, just just about about but that's yeah. another thing. Like speedrunners have shown us ways of how to do the levels that we didn't even know just really? by the yeah. demo. Like we were like, how did they do this? It's so yeah. I'm curious to see how fast people are going to be able to finish this game. Because the the demo that we had, I think the world record was one minute fifty eight seconds or something. Something like that. Yeah, really? that's a twenty yeah, minute demo normally. Or twenty five minutes. How long have you all been developing the game? It's three years. It's three years now. From the, this version that you see is three years, like um, pretty much three years, I think. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of content in the game as well. There's a lot of puzzles, and and we wanted to, and, you know, we've got narrative in there as well. We've got story. We got, uh, cats. We got a cat, and the cat's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. We can pet the cat, so in case, there's a, in case somebody keeps counting so how many pets you can catch. We need to do the important thing and go pet the cat. Yes, I think. Um, so this is Kate. They are the best cats. And um, I'm very happy to say that it's my own cat that oh, really? is the star okay. of the, the purring uh, for, for Kate. So you can pet them. Super cute. Yes. Very, very cute. And also, if you just look at them for a little while, uh, you don't need to interact, but they will start purring while you look at them, because my cat does that. Uh, and I think it's the only mechanic we have in the game that is pure audio and nothing else. Uh, but okay. I just needed that to be in there. So there's a, a, a bunch of different cats that you find. Well, there's no, there's there's just, there's, there's, this is the one cat. I was just okay, saying, man. I was just saying, like, you know how people often want to find out if a video game contains an animal and if you can pet them. Yeah. So I just want to confirm that you can uh, pet you Kate can here pet and it's, uh, it's important. Yeah, you're more happy so. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, if, yeah. Uh, double wish list, please, for this. Yeah, yeah. Double, double wish list, because we can't. Uh, it's amazing. Can, can you talk a bit about the sort of story of behind this? So, well, I would, but I don't want to spoil. Okay. Right? But what I would say is like it's a lot about friendships, uh, you know, the, the idea of friendship, uh, what it takes, um, sac sacrifice as well, and just exploring the, the what happens when people get together to, to do something, and the good and the bad in a way, uh, which, which, um, yeah, but we try to make it so that you can follow the story if you want, um, uh, or you focus on the puzzles. Um, so we wanted to make sure that you feel comfortable playing the game either way. Because I know some people, they want to focus on the puzzles, that's totally fine, and you should. And then we know other people want to find out every detail that they can about the story. So we have what we call, the, we've got audio logs, we've got journals, we've got sticky, uh, notes. sticky notes. So you can sort of like experience your way through the, experience the story through, through that as well. Um, one of the other things I want to say in terms of game mechanic is we talked a lot about taking photos, right, and placing photos down, but this mechanic can also be used to obviously get into places by, by destroying yeah. things. And one of the interesting challenges, if, if, if you go look, look back, is like cutting this out here, for example, you literally cut the hole through there, right? Interesting challenge like, is like to get the lighting right when it's been cut through. Yeah. The art team also had to make sure that, you know, certain objects that you cut through, right, that they've okay. got inside. So this was actually, when you think about it, all the, from a detailed perspective, some of the stuff really interesting challenges. Like here, for example, the That is so sick. Okay, because, oh, you know, I see. It's like yeah. Yeah, you can like slice through it, you know, and and, and that is that is equally important. That's awesome. And so, uh, oh, go, go no, 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 please. Yeah, we have we have a couple minutes, so I just want to like you. Are, we already talked about where you can get it. Yeah. Where can we find out more about? About the team, well, yeah. we're called Sad Owl Studios or SOS, and uh, I'll try to show my lo the logo here. So it's a, it's an owl that's quite sad. No, no tattoo yet. No, no, no because <laughs> I want to see the tattoo. Oh, yeah. oh, I should have done it. We could have done it live here. Yeah, right. 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 I know, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm famous. Well, it's a no, no, I, I imagine we could have done a live tattoo session. Yo, so no, 
but we have, um, yeah, so it's NL Studios. We are a team that's worldwide. So Philippines, America, Finland, Norway, United Kingdom, Spain, Japan, Denmark. Denmark. Oh, that's we are everywhere. We're all time zones. And uh, it's, yeah, so the, the si team size is about 20 for this game. And yeah, we'll see. If, if the game does well, we have ideas what we want to do next. Can't talk about them just yet, but we yeah, hope people enjoy. Oh my God! Now you're teasing. Us? <laughs> teasing. Yeah, but we've got some. Honestly, we've got some. We, we, we do because you know we're a small studio. We want to, we want to do well. If the game does well, then we for sure, we for sure will. We want to make more cool stuff. That's the idea. It's beautiful, and you said PS5, PlayStation 5, and uh, Steam. Steam yeah. on the on 18th Tuesday. of Tuesday, the 18th on of July. On Tuesday, wish, wish list is now. Until yeah. until then, buy Set it on alarm. both platforms so you have it. it. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, you, yeah. Imagine Give you that. find your tattoos. Get the views on the tattoos. That's where we're at. <laughs> on your arm. Thank you so thank much. You so, no, thank you guys. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.